What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay, aka Straight Drop Jay, and you're now watching Reason Gang TV. So, today we're gonna go over the Auto Tune X refill that utilizes the Neptune pitch correction module inside of Reason Studio software. Now, they're combinator presets, and they're much more than just Auto Tune, they have four macro knobs and four on and off toggle switches for turning various things on and off like uh reverb and uh, setting auto tune preferences and tube saturation but uh it's much more than auto tune it's gonna have reverb it's gonna have echo it's gonna have uh dynamic control compression limiting siblings control via filters and uh it sounds really wide they're gonna have a bunch more than just regular they're gonna have like travis scott presets that have wide um flangers courses little uzi course wides uh wide presets and also clean presets too but uh let's go check it out let's go what's up what's up all right so what i do what i have is i recorded something dry on a on a on a two-track beat and i'm going to show you guys how to use the autotune x let me delete this all right, so don't laugh, but yeah, I, I suck at singing, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how it sounds dry. Show you wanna fall with a real nigga, and we rolling through, and we got real figures. All right, that was terribly embarrassing, but uh, I'm gonna show you how, just um, how easy it is. Okay, so. If you, as soon as you record in, you're just gonna have a dry track like this. And it's gonna sound off. You can record it to the beat. It'd probably be a little lower than beat because it's not mixed. Alright. So, what you're gonna do is go to the auto tune uh, uh, combinator effects patches, the refill right here. And you'll pick which one. I'm going to say let's go with the clean one, the auto-tune clean vocal. And uh, it'll load everything into your into your audio track. Now, uh, audio track looks like this, flat. But um, when you, when you press this, show effects, show insert effects and show programmer, it allows you to load up a, a, a combinator file right here. So you just go press this. And then navigate to your refill. Let's drop in the clean vocal. Now I know, all right, on every um file it's gonna be D is gonna be D uh D flat is what's gonna be record gonna be in there as stock. But uh, I know this is recorded. The beat is in D, so I'm just gonna put it in D. Not listen. That's dry. All right, and you might be wondering what's up with the beat. I just put it, I I'll put a filter so you couldn't hear too much highs. That's auto-tune clean. Uh, let's try, I like the Travis ones. Those are pretty good. Now, once again, they, they come in automatically in D flat, but I'm going to go to D. Okay, so you could see that it's, it puts it all on tune. You just have to know what tune you have. I mean, what uh, what key your beat is. And uh, I don't know if there's a key finder in Reason, but I just I just make sure I know which key I'm making my beat in. And uh, pretty much to find out, it's just the first key of your, your melody loop. So if you start like... And C, it's usually right there, right when the beat loops or begins is where your first key is. And that's that's pretty much your key or your root chord. But yeah, that's I'll go through a couple more effects. Let me loop this so we could just scroll through a couple. 
And yeah, once again, like I'm not a singer, man, but I tried for this little tutorial. Let's try three. Put the right beat. Right key. Shall you wanna fall with a real nigga? Yeah, we rolling through and we got real fingers. Travis three. Shall you wanna fall with a real nigga? Yeah, we rolling through and we got real fingers. Show you Uzi one. So let's put Roddy. Shall you wanna fall with a real nigga? Yeah, we rolling through and we got real figures. Baby's a clean one. Shall you wanna fall with a real nigga? Yeah, we rolling through and we got real figures. Kanye has has a sort of like a. Saturation distortion. Shall you wanna fall with a real nigga? We wanna do when we got real fingers. Oh, let's see what else. A boogie's a clean one. Remember, for it to sound right, you just gotta find your root key. I, I, every time you change the um preset, you just gotta set the key. All right, guys, I hope you you check, you like this little refill overview, and I hope I made it pretty simple how to load it in. Uh, once again, like, when you record it in, it's going to look like when you record an audio track, you're just going to get a uh, pre press audio track. You're going to you're gonna record straight in, and once you record it in, uh, you'll just open it like this, and you'll drag your preset right there right there oh yeah and uh until next time man reason gang for life i'll see y'all later yo yeah.